Ah, uh, there's music! Copyright? No! Okay, oh, welcome everyone back to Fallout 76, as I'm about to get copyright already, uh, five seconds in. So, I meant to post a video, like, nine, ten hours ago, like, in the morning. Um, not how it worked out. Basically, the video I planned for you guys today, I finally just got figured out. I'm very new to this, but basically, we're going to be doing a full tour of Vault 63. And I plan on doing this with the other vaults as well. And I'm going to show you guys uh, the entire layout of the vault itself. So let's go on in here to Vault 63. Now what I was doing was I was just trying to remove every vault door from the game. Like not, well, not, well, not really remove it, just kind of replace it. Like just erase it from the game itself. Which you guys can see is successful. It just, it just took me a while. Um, I have not actually been into the actual vault yet. So this will be my first impression as well. But uh, let's, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. So this is Vault 63. Event failed, event breach and clear. Got like a little storage room. I wonder, I'm kind of surprised if this is more like done than I th really thought it would be. Wait, we can actually, there's stuff to pick up. Cause like that's right there, that's locked. Like people, you're not supposed to, be to get in this area where I'm standing right now. Um, but there's actually a lot of stuff in here, like to pick up. Oh wait, this is usable. Emergency management terminal. Begin mission. Please confirm that your team has assembled and is ready to begin. Once you confirm your acceptance of this mission, the vault door will cycle and no further personnel will be permitted in or out of the vault until this operation has been completed. I'm going to assume it doesn't work because we don't have a vault door. I'm going to assume that wouldn't work normally. Um, oh, vault 63. Here we go. Okay, so I'm already noticing one thing right now. You see that my cursor is that black right there? Um, that's probably gonna be like that throughout this vault and it's mainly because I was re replacing uh, files within all these vaults today to try to get rid of all the doors. So obviously this isn't normal because like that bottle cap right there, I was basically just replacing these doors with these bottle caps. So that's probably why the floor is like that because there should be a door frame there. Um, but let's keep looking around here. There's so much stuff to pick up. I'm really surprised. I have not been in any of these vaults yet. I wonder if I can get a Vault 63, that was Nuka Cola, a Vault 63 uh, jumpsuit. That would be pretty cool. Metal box. All right, let's go back around this corner here. Actually, wait, we can go in here. Does this even work? I don't see a button for this shower. Oh, lockers. M might have a vault suit. I, I actually should have looked. I don't even know if there's even a 63 vault like jumpsuit in the game. But man, I'm really surprised how like finished this is. It's like a little art room, or it's not art room, but there's like a bunch of art on the wall. Got cameras to pick up, a bird cage, another terminal that can't be used. I actually like seeing the coffee pot on the hot plate. That's pretty detailed. A fuse. I hear fire. A lot of people think that these vaults are gonna be raid vaults. I personally don't think that it's going to be the case. We'll come in here first. It's really bright in this room. It's extremely bright in this room. Why is it so bright in here? What's that do? I turned it. Medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. Well, we turned the, the valve. I don't know exactly what it did though. It's so it's just too it's too bright in this this one room right here. This needs to be fixed. Obviously, I'm sure it will once they release this uh, in the actual game. Which I assume through a DLC, but man, that is just super bright. So we came down the stairs. Let's go in this down this little corridor, I guess. Oh, we got like a little lab. Okay, okay. Wait. Oh, I, th I thought I could pick up that painting for some reason. It'd be crazy to find plans down here. I I'm gonna assume we're not going to, but we're gonna be looking over everything. There's a vault a tech calendar, 1-800-4-Vault-Tech. I wonder if you actually call that number if it's something that actually picks up. Okay, I still hear that fire. What is this thing? That, that, that looks like it's going to be usable at some point, doesn't it? I mean, it's not right now, but maybe at some point it actually will be. I hear a fire. We're getting, we are getting closer to which right there in that corner. So there's a fire here in this vault, I guess. I don't know. Just that one corner's on fire. That's so weird. Okay. 
got some more rooms over here. Is that a, I think that, that might be a map right there. We'll check that out in a minute. This is huge! You know what I have not seen yet? I have not seen bodies. Could be because it's not totally finished, but there's a lot more here than I thought we were originally going to be finding. I'm not sure. This is like a storage area, like a little store maybe. I guess like a little store. Not sure why they'd have a store uh, when everyone's living in a vault though. It's kind of weird that they'd have a currency. At least to me, it's kind of weird. This is double doored right here. Oh, this is like an... Is this like an important office or something? I don't know why there'd be double doors there. I, I say that because there's two bottle caps on the ground, which means there's two doors there. I don't see anything, though. Do you guys see anything out of place? Because I don't see anything important. I'm not sure why there'd be two doors there. They're probably locked or something. Who knows, though? Because uh, we kind of removed the doors. Oh, there's our first skeleton. It's the first one I've seen. At least inside the vault. Again, this is double doored as well. But I don't... I don't really see anything too crazy. I'd love to be able to find another terminal to kind of poke through. Um, I guess we'll just jump down then. Looks like a big crater right there. Okay. That is just charred up. There's nothing in there. Let's come in here. We have a scientist with a 10 millimeter pistol. This requires the correct ID card. Oh wait, here's a terminal. Let's let's look at this. Let's see what this does. Looks like it's unfinished. Okay. Well, that was <laughs> that was exciting. Is that a bottle cap? Oh, that's duct tape. I didn't even read that right. Take that. Okay, we won't go that way yet. Let's go over here. Oh, this is like a little dining area. Oh, boiled water though. I'll take that. I'm gonna need that eventually. Man, this is huge. This is so much bigger than I really thought that, that it was actually going to be. I don't know anything about these vaults yet, so we might not. Can I just take that outfit? Just, just let me take that one, please. That's a tease right there. This door is removed. So I don't know what we're actually going to find. Freaking radiation. Uh, let me get out my suit. Now this is interesting. I don't... I don't know that because like that door will look like it was just like completely just damaged and destroyed. Uh, we'll go down here first, I guess. Can I get back up though? Okay, I can. Interesting. I don't see anything in here, but it's pretty crazy. There's like it's like a little tunnel underneath the actual vault itself. It's like a little secret tunnel. This is so crazy. Where's this go? Is this just a dead end? No, it's not. There's multiple paths here. Watch this lead outside. It's gonna be crazy. There's like a second secondary entrance to this place. Okay, I don't want to keep going through the vault. I want to go where we left off, so let's walk back through here. But this is crazy. It's like a secret tunnel. Inside Vault 63. And I'm guessing the vault's sitting directly above us based off, like, the little bolts and stuff we're seeing in the actual uh, ceiling there. Man, this is this is so much more than I was actually expecting. Like it's it's pretty crazy. Okay, what did we miss down here? I wanna uh hang on. I went I went the wrong way. I definitely went the wrong way. This 
place is very confusing. There's a closet. Now we're like in a... Where, where am I? This, this is not where we were. Like a little pool area. Okay, I'm going to leave my power suit because I just don't like walking around with that noise. There's another valve. Relation valve. It's the second one that we found so far. That's where we were. I guess we're going to go back this way then. Let's just do it then. So we came down here originally. I went through there because that's what caught my eye. I don't even see this right here. So let's walk down here. Oh man, there's... A lot going on here. Okay, let's walk in here. Another valve. That's three. I guess go down here. My power armor is about to be recalled, which is fine. What is that thing? Is that generator? I think is that from Fallout 4? Like the, am I thinking right? I might not be. Which is, let's see if this let's see if this terminal has anything on it. It didn't. It didn't actually give us a quest, but it's kind of interesting. So we'll be doing something with this for sure. What's going on here? Oh no! I thought that's something I could interact with. Can we walk through there? No. All right, well, I don't see anything else, so let's just head back up. Okay, so that's all that's down there. Both of those lead to just dead ends, so let's head back up. And find my way out. I think it was this way. Pretty sure. Okay, here we go. All right. Back in business now. Yeah, because we didn't look at this kitchen or anything yet. I don't see anything really back there. It's crazy how like the the fire from the area that the region we're in like just completely destroyed this place. This is a classroom. More lockers, actually a bunch of lockers. These are definitely worth checking. I mean, the ones that are can be opened, I guess, are worth checking. Man, I really want a jumpsuit, and I'm feeling like I'm not gonna get one. Oh uh, yeah, science room. Okay, this is definitely taking us back up to like the main wing area. What's that? Nothing. I thought there's so much stuff in here. I'm really surprised like how finished finished this actually is. Okay, now we're back at the start. So let's go down here again. We're gonna go down here. Instead of going that way, we're going to go this way. This is just a room that is just completely on fire. Someone's little house. This is where someone lived. It's like little toy rocket ships we can pick up. A baseball bat. Actually, that's, I, think, I think that's the first weapon we found in here was a baseball bat. Not a little living quarters. They did pretty well. Like these rooms are pretty big for it being a live in a vault. I mean, like they're big for, they're big to what I would was thinking they were be were gonna be. Like I thought these were gonna be really really small, but they're not. Like they had TVs, little living area. There's no need for the kitchen obviously because you already have that. It's like the common area. Okay, this is just this is another bathroom we have not been in yet. I think we're getting close to the end though. Yeah, because we came from right there. Oh, it actually, is the end of it. Okay. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is pretty cool, I think. It took me quite a while to get these doors to uh, replace, to get erased. So if you could, please hit the like button for me, guys. It would really, really mean a lot to me. So thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.